Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Tanya with Mind, Body and Soul Company and I make aromatherapy bath and beauty products. So today we're making an all natural soap. It is going to be an orange coconut milk and calendula soap. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my lye water poured in here. I do have sodium lactate in the lye water and there's also coconut milk powder in my oils. And I'm just going to give that a quick blend. And I'm going to go ahead and just drop it in our batter here. That way I can give it a little bit of a blend. light exfoliation, uh, but it won't be too harsh. And we are looking good there. So next, I'm going to get in our essential oil, and I'm using the Orange 10 from Brambleberry. And uh, I have it mixed in with some kaolin clay just to help the essential oil stick a little better. And we're not adding any colorant. Um, the essential oil itself will color the batter some because it's such a deep essential oil. And then um, it'll be nice. It'll have that slight orange tinge to it from the essential oil. All right, so we'll get that stirred in. All right, so I have everything blended together. And now we're gonna go ahead and get it poured into our mold here. It is kind of thick at this point in between the blending and the coconut milk powder and the calendula I added in. Gonna get that all in here and then give it a tap down make sure we get all the air pockets out all right and then to finish this off I'm just gonna sprinkle a little more calendula over the top here So we're gonna let this set up for 24 hours and then we'll be back to cut. All right, so we are back and ready to cut. The 
calendula and orange soap. So I split it into loaves already. And now I'm just gonna cut the loaves into two inch chunks. So I'm just gonna slide it through here. Since this was already set at two inches, I thought this would be easier than getting the cutter out. really love the calendula running through there and the orange smells really nice it does have some coconut milk in there as well so that will add to the great feeling of the bar on your skin I just got this log splitter and it has definitely made using that slab mold much easier. I am not good at cutting things with a knife. So this was definitely worth the investment. I think these little cubes will be really nice. And I'm going to, it was a six by six mold from Brambleberry and I'm going to end up having nine two by two cubes out of it. And I'll link where I got this log splitter down below. I got it off of a shop on Etsy. I think orange and calendula is a perfect springtime scent. Orange is such an invigorating scent anyway. Perfect for spring. There's a little bit of dragging from the calendula, but not too bad. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and I will catch you in my next one.